I hope you're ready for a super nostalgic video. The plan for the day is to digitise some old photos. I'm looking back at my old photos, my mum's and my grandma's. So we've got three generations worth of photos to look through. And then I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna scan in the pictures, retouch them and bring them back to life, basically. If you can't already tell, I'm actually at my parents' house. I'll see if I can insert a clip of me sat here when I used to live here, but it's always so strange coming to sitting in this room. I am surrounded by an array of photo albums. I cannot believe <laughs> little old me who used to go to school every day and then go to after school club and do graphic design after school club would not know what had hit her. This vlog is sponsored by Adobe Photoshop. <laughs> now I know a couple of videos ago I did a vlog sponsored by Adobe so if you've not already seen that one go and watch it and I mentioned back in that video but Photoshop was the first Adobe software I learnt so it's kind of like a full circle moment being sponsored by them. All right I've already had a quick sneaky peek and there's some good good stuff in here. This one Alice eight days old. <laughs> Three weeks old. How have you had a baby three weeks ago there because you do not look like you just had a baby. If I, I don't know why I'm smiling in this photo when you put me in this thing. So that dress, what I'm wearing in this photo. So this, I'm in it here. Stop. Four days old. How cute is that? I would buy something like that now. 10 weeks old, baby me wearing it. Isn't that so cute? I can't, I can't get over it. This is 90s Halloween if I ever did see it. <laughs> and me with a bin bag on. <laughs> Classic. Look at the Christmas tree as well. That's such a 90s Christmas tree with like the tinsel strands on it. Yeah, I think you look worse out of all of us in that one. <laughs> Who else had this car? Barney and Poe. I want this now. <laughs> How good is that? I've pulled out a few of mine. Mum's just got out Grandma's box. Oh my god, we might find some of your baby photos in here. Revenge is sweet. I'm back and oh my god these photos i cannot get enough of them so i have a small selection of my childhood photos and like look at this i'm in a Leeds united kit <laughs> my dad clearly was teaching me from a young age who to support we've got one with my granddad me and grandma i look like a proper little rug right in this one me and my dad i want my dad's jumper in this i feel like that is the coolest jumper ever and i totally wear that now mum and dad and again that's got like a weird burn mark or something on the side not sure and then the final one my mum and dad's wedding which i feel like that could be quite a fun one to fix too because it's kind of like misty so they're mine then we went we went in on the archives i think these are the ones i'm going to focus on today it's my grandma and granddad and i'm obsessed look at this it's a little photo booth photo this will have been from the 60s but as you can see it's got some damage on it and obviously it's like really old so like ugh. okay i'm not going to show you them all one by one because they're going to be on my screen in a second i'm going to go and scan these in let's warm up the scanner let's hope it works and see what happens The images are scanned in. They look so cute. I'm gonna go with these ones first. And I think the ones I'm gonna grab first are the, this one of my grandma and granddad because it's so cute. And then probably these two here because they're the ones that look like they need the most TLC. So I'm gonna grab the Polygon Lustu tool and just roughly pick up this image. Copy. Command N for a new document and then paste from clipboard and straighten it up a touch. I actually think I'm going to keep those like rough edges in because I think it keeps the character of the photo. I just want to fix this scratch across both sides. So to start with, I'm actually going to go into the layers panel, make sure my layer is selected and go in with the filter, which is the neural 
filters. Now, I've been playing around with this already and let me tell you, it has blown my mind. See this panel here, this one at the bottom says photo restoration. I'm gonna just toggle that on. It'll say down here it's processing, so it's just having a little chin wag, a think to itself, so to speak. I'm gonna just talk in real time. There you go. So that is already applying enhancements to it. And actually that's done a really good job. Like look at the detail of my granddad's hair. Isn't that impressive? I'm gonna nudge down the face enhancement and the photo enhancement just a little bit because like I said I want to keep its character and I'm actually going to nudge up the scratch reduction to see how well it tackles this so again it's going to process and think about it for a second maybe a little bit less and then I can work magic with the tools all right I'm pretty happy with that so that's the before that's the after. The only one it's not seemed to pick up is this one here. And I think it's because it goes down the crease of my grandma's coat. So I'm going to save that as a new layer. So then we can see the one above is the new one. The one below is the bottom one. I recommend naming your layers, but I'm going to be lazy. And actually I'm going to go in with the lasso tool and I'm going to circle around this little bit on my grandma's coat. And then once I've selected that, this panel appears, generative fill, click that button. I'm not gonna write any prompt in there. I'm just gonna press generate. And I'm just gonna let that generate in real time and it'll come up with three different variations that I can choose from. You can see them load in here on the right and then I can pick which one I prefer. So that's number one, that's number two. That feels the realistic one so far. And that's number three. Do you know what? I like number two. I'm pretty happy with that. If we go back to the layers panel, you can see the difference between the scratch and then when the generative fills filled the gap in. I'm actually gonna merge these two layers. I've just highlighted them, right clicked and merge. And I'm gonna go back into the neural filters and I'm gonna play with that colorized tool. So this one here, I'm gonna toggle that on. It'll process again. Oh my God, that was so quick. Look at that. How cute is that? Like I have never seen that photo in color. In fact, my grandma won't have ever seen that photo in color. The fact that it's just done that in a click of a button is wild. You can play down here with the different profiles and change the saturation. I think I'm gonna do the saturation lower a little bit again because I want to keep the soft style of the image. And then I'm gonna press okay. And then we've got a completely restored photo. That was so quick. That's it with colour, without, and then back to its original. Amazing. I'm gonna save that and then we'll do one of my granddad. I really wanna try this one here. I think this one's really cute. This time I'm gonna fix these pen marks before I run it through the filters. We can use the generative fill tool for the pen. So I'm gonna just use the lasso. I'm gonna go around this just roughly. Generative fill, generate, and again, it'll generate three different variations for us to choose from. So it's just having a little think down here. I previously have done this years and years ago and spent hours and hours just kind of mirroring the different hair parts, whereas this has just done it in seconds. So like, that's option one, that's option two, that's option three. And I think I'm gonna go with option one. And then for this scratch and the pen and the discoloration, you can go in with, I guess you've got two options. You've got the clone stamp tool, which basically if I click on the layer that I want, which is this original image, if I, in fact, I'll duplicate it. So we've got the original underneath. If I click beside it and then draw over it, it's gonna be picking up the mirror image. It's hard to explain. So for example, if I was to click on his ear and then draw here, it's picking up the ear. You see how it's like copying it over. So effectively you choose a bit of picture that looks pretty seamless and you can go in and use the clone stamp tool to fix it. That's how I would have done it manually previously. Now they also have the spot healing brush tool here. So with this one, it takes a bit of that manual labor out of it, I guess. I just drag down with it and it will get rid of it. And I'm gonna do that again here. So I use this one a lot. It's called spot removal tool. So I took that really literally when I first started and I used it on just spots like imperfections on my skin, especially when I'm making thumbnails. Um, but it is, I mean, it is what it says on the tin, right? It removes any bits that you don't want without you having to go in and like mirror it. Right, then last one I'm gonna fix before we go into the neural filters. I'm gonna go around and do this. And I'm going to generative fill that. Again, I could use the mirror clone stamp and like mirror down this bit, but why would I waste the time when we've got generative fill? So I'm sure you know by now, I'm just going to give it a second and then it'll present 
the different options. We've got option one, option two, option three. And three to me is the best one. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna actually click those two generative fills that we did and merge them down. So you can see before, after, and then I'll merge them also back into the original image because I'm just pretty happy to keep it fixed. You see all the little spots that I've got rid of? Now I'm gonna run it through the neural filters. So similar process, go down, literally just tick the photo restoration button, give it a minute, have a little chat with you and it will restore the image. I am gonna nudge the sliders down a little bit because I don't want it to be too sharp. I still want to retain the old photo vibe of it. So I think that's a good balance. And then again, I'm gonna do the scratch reduction because he's got a scratch here across the collar, across the ear, and there's some around the edges. So, oh my God, the transformation on that is actually like magic. Look at that, before, after. And I'm gonna save that as a new layer. So now we've got the original, maybe I should name them, original, um, healed, restore, and then, we're gonna go back into the filters and go into colorize. So I feel like this is gonna be quick, so don't blink or you might miss it. I love that. Like I've never seen my granddad as a, as a little boy and now I've seen him as a little boy. And I feel like that's perfect. I don't even want to change any of that. But if you do, like I said, you can go all the way down here and choose all the different options. Love it. Right, I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna actually go through and do a few more. In fact, maybe I'll do my mum and dad's wedding photo, like a more modern image. I'm gonna go straight to the filters this time. So select my layer, let's name it straight up. Filter, neural filters, we're gonna photo restoration. Oh my God, I so love this so much. So that's made the image much clearer. The details really stand out. I actually want to get rid of this person. Don't know who you are, but you are not welcome here. I'm gonna use the lasso tool and just highlight around then generative fill. I'm not gonna put a prompt in it. I'm just gonna see what happens. See if it realizes that I don't want her in it. Oh my God, straight away. And you know what? I think I prefer prefer this one. How good is that? I'll never get over it. I really will never get over it. <laughs> then I'm gonna merge those two layers. So click them both and merge. I'm gonna turn this into a smart object, which means I can apply different adjustments and toggle them on and off and make changes to them. So if I just nudge it up a touch like that and press okay, you can see that it's applied the filter down here. So if I toggle it on and off, very subtle, but you can see that the changes are being made. And then if I wanna adjust it further, I can double click into it and change it further. And like, we can play around with these, press okay. And then the color balance one has also been applied. Don't underestimate the value of having a smart filter on because it means that you can continually go back in and keep editing it if you decide at a later date to change your mind. I wonder what the auto ones will do, auto tone. Oh, I love that. It's like a proper flash photography vibe. Okay, cute, happy with that. I love that this like fuzziness at the corners is still there. It really adds to that vintage touch that I was going for. I'm sure my mum and dad might appreciate me calling their wedding photos vintage, <laughs> but here we are. I'm gonna go through now and edit all the other photos that I've scanned in and I'll show you the befores and afters. I can see me doing this for the rest of the day, to be quite honest. And then once we've done that, I'll go to the shop and we'll print some out. is TK Maxx because I've got high hopes that they'll have really cute frames. They usually do. That is what you call a great parking space. Positive vibes, well wishes all round. There's loads. How am I gonna ever choose? I 
found some great bargains. I'm definitely gonna have to go back because there were so many more. I got two of these. I'm not sure why one's one pound and one's two pounds, but I wasn't gonna argue because they're quite cute. They're both the same. I think they're the same. Maybe one's broken. Who knows? But either way, once it's closed and has the photo in it, I think that'll look so cute. And then also found this one. I just liked the shape of it, but once again, three pounds. Affordable homemade Christmas, guys. This is the theme. And actually, I love all of them. I just need to decide which pictures to put in which now. Right, let's go and print the pictures. <laughs> I'm back. I'm in Gus's room. This is such a good idea for a Christmas present or like a little love gift as we like to call them in our family. Look at these. Maybe I should get the befores and afters. Hang on. Let me go get the other ones. This is the before. This is the after. How cute. It's so nice to have another version of it and not be scared that I'm going to damage it. I've got the digital copy of it on my laptop. And like this one. Look at this one. Stop it how adorable okay let's get these in the frames i cannot hold it i cannot contain myself welcome to the 60s oh 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 mama welcome to the 60s oh 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 mama go 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 gus you're being so helpful please don't touch the old ones Welcome to the 60s. Hey, Mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Careful, Bab. We don't want you messing with this one. It's a lot older than you. <laughs> You're just showing off now. You're just showing off, little one. What's up, Bab? Why are you being so cute, little one? This video is not about you. Stop it. Look at that. I'm so obsessed. I'm thinking maybe I should go back and print that one of my mum and dad in this one. So then I've got like grandma, granddad, mum and dad. They've all turned out so cute. I'm gonna go on a mission and find frames for all of these and pin them all up. Like this is just obsessed. Now, of course I do have a link for Photoshop if you want to try it out for yourself. It's in the top line of my description. If you haven't yet tried Photoshop, Please do, even if it's just to play around with those filters. I am obsessed and I'm gonna continue playing with them. <laughs> I just can't get over how cute this is. A huge thank you to Photoshop for sponsoring this vlog. You've honestly got no idea how grateful I am and also even how grateful I am to be given the time to do something so nostalgic and wholesome as this and call it a part of my job. How insane is that? If you got to the end of the video, comment down below this emoji that I've put on screen and I'll you got to the very end thank you so much for watching this vlog i hope you loved it as much as i did and i'll see you next time for another one bye